bonus episode. <laughs> we originally right. weren't supposed to be doing this, but Paul, and uh, we'll talk about it here. Whoa, look at that fancy bit of artwork behind Mr. Throut over there. It appears to be under some form of construction. Hmm. Not very triumphant if it needs repair, right? <laughs> it was triumphant. Like a lot of a lot of things in France, it was triumphant in the 1800s. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> was, so obviously Paul is in either Las Vegas or in Paris. Uh, yeah. How's it going? It's going very well. Go very well. I can't get my face in this. There we go. <laughs> well, that's what it's what it's centered. We get half a throat, which is, I guess, better uh, than no throat, maybe. Is it? Ah. Jeez, I am. I am incapable. In, you are infallible too. Uh, either way, so Paul is in Paris. We originally weren't going to be doing this today, but I was supposed to go up to the office with Paul. I woke up Monday morning, and there was uh, a, a biblical storm, like really unusual for this time of the year. And, I heard about this. Yeah, it was like in it, like I looked at the highway to drive, and it was like right through like Death's Valley, and I was like, nope, we're just gonna that'll be next week, and then Paul is there, so we're here. It's good. I thing. sent you a complimented message, which you correctly made fun of me for. <laughs> I think I think what you wrote was conversation ten out of ten. Um, to, <laughs> I'll explain myself publicly. Um, we're leaving later on Friday than I thought, mm -hmm. so I typed that in, and then I went and looked at my calendar, and I was like, oh. Never mind. But I haven't changed my calendar, so I, it's possible. There's a small chance I can do this Friday, so I will get back to you again and continue that classic conversation. Uh, Paul sent me like six messages like, we can do it Friday. Wait, let me check my calendar. No. Nope, we no, can't. Or maybe we can. <laughs> we'll figure it out later. And it's like, That's like, why are you wasting my time? <laughs> like, I never why even responded that? to any of this, and I just responded 10 out of 10. Uh, it's like, just formulate your thoughts and then communicate. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. So... I know you're in Paris and you've been doing Parisian stuff. Did you see Microsoft's earnings yesterday? Yes. So I completely forgot about that happening. And also Google's, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, so I wrote up something very quick. I, <laughs> you know, you can say I mailed that one in. Uh, but yeah, yeah. I mean, yikes. I, uh, let me say this about both companies. Yeah. You should not be able to grow that fast, that much, year over year, when you're that mature of a business. Yeah, it's crazy. There is something wrong. No, it's it's not right. Like it's scary. So, and the Microsoft numbers that Paul's referring to, I have some of them here. So, revenue came in at forty five point three billion, which is a twenty two percent increase year over year. They also had a net income of twenty point five billion for the quarter. For the quarter. Now, I just want to remind people, there was a several year period where Microsoft's revenues were 30 i think i want to say 30 billion mm -hmm. so this is half again they, they have they are half again as big as they were yeah five years or whatever i mean i say again i'm i'm, I'm traveling so i'm a little off here but it's it, it's just incredible google same thing google's revenues were in the the 65 billion range dude. Jeez. can you imagine what amazon's gonna be here then i know well 100 pick yeah. your number right it's something. I mean, it's going to be stupid. Yeah, it's uh, it's cr it, it's substantial uh, given what I mean. You look at what happened in the past. I don't know, twenty four months, and some companies are gone. A lot of people, a lot of changing happening going on, and these companies are just out there with Hoover vacuums, just sucking up all the revenue. It's I nuts. Mean, I, I thought we had beaten COVID. I, isn't this over? I, what's going on? Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> what's? I don't know. So yeah, it's it's um. Is a, a scenic toilet right behind me, by the way. No, um, I'll, I'll move yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we like the toilet more than the ark. It's or as, we, as we call them here, the toilet. Toilet. Anyway, sorry. Anyways, how's your fromage? This trip has been uh, a greatest hits thing for us. I mean, we've come to Paris so many times. Mm -hmm. I don't know the number. It's some, some between twenty and twenty-five times. And uh, we there, we are experiencing nothing new. We are literally yeah. just going back to our favorite places, and and we're just kind of we not not through any. I, I'm not going to climb to the top of this thing. It's like 200 and something steps or whatever it is. But uh, but you know, I've been up this this thing at least eight or nine times. You mm -hmm. know, we went up to the top of the Eiffel Tower, which is a goofy touristy thing to do, but it was so unbusy at the time. We were like, oh, screw it, we'll just do this. You know. Yeah. Um. 
but you know we have restaurants we really like here and uh we got, i don't know if you do you know steven bank i think yeah. you must have met him yeah yeah. Uh, yeah they came down from amsterdam and uh we had dinner with them and lunch the next day and that was kind of fun but uh yeah it's been the weather's great um this is the right time of year to be here it's october november i think is uh, just the best possible time to be in the city yeah well i am so, envious because you're traveling and i'm not and i miss doing things although i think next year i'll have some good travel but not not paris more 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 canyon and desert okay yeah, yeah. well i mean you can, like we talked about this i mean i think mm. your daughter is of the age where she would uh, you remember it and appreciate it yep and, uh, yeah. yeah no that's why so what i don't i can't remember if we talked about this on the show or whatever but it for her spring break we're going to be going to arizona grand canyon zion park and all that stuff it's kind of like our first like traveling trip with her and so we'll see how it goes i've also just realized paul you probably can't tell windows did a great job blowing up first ring daily back i was wondering why everything was so off but i mean look at oh so good it must be the new paint by the way did you i don't know if you saw me on twitter but i, I you know new the new paint has appeared right so mm -hmm. everyone probably has it by now if you have a windows 11 yeah. it's not mode capable it's just a white app it's white <laughs> it's a print what you what? should be able to do is do the little paint bucket and like click on it for dark mode, like just drop it on there, but no. That'd be No. Nope. Nope. Doesn't work. So hmm. you know, details matter, as we say. They do. Uh speaking of other fun details, this came out I think late last night or early this morning. A third party developer has figured out how to enable the Google Play Store, at least on Windows, until it gets patched, cracked, DMCA, whatever you want to call it here. Uh, but there is a workaround now to get that up and running. Everyone knew this was coming. It only took about a week or so. And so. Amazing. How quick stuff like this has happened. I mean, this thing wasn't working at all and people were already sideloading apps on it. And, you know, so. Yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, that's maybe one of the advantages getting Android on there at all. This stuff will happen. And by the way, I, do you know anyone who works at a third party software developer that likes to maybe uh, modify Windows to work better? Um, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> okay. If you did, yeah. uh, theoretically, I, you know, it's an area of um, research. Right? Yeah, yeah. Re uh, a little R&D there for that, for that matter. Um, so that's floating out around there. I'm still just waffling over these um, earnings because they were yeah. like... I know Intelligent Cloud was number one. I want to say $19 billion in revenues-ish. Um, yeah. Business, productivity, whatever the hell that is. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not in front of a computer, but... The other... The so... Right? On the gaming side, gaming revenue, they had $3.8 in gaming revenue, which was, I believe, a record for this quarter or up there. Right. Um, right. Hardware, Xbox hardware was up 166%. No surprise there because it's year over year versus the Xbox One. Uh, we still did, like, still not getting right any to... Game Pass numbers, though. Right. Well, right. there have been reports, I guess we'll call them rumors, that Microsoft actually has not met their Game Pass goals right. from a subscriber base. So that might have something to do with that. They usually mentioned something about it you know yeah that it was relative yeah. they said their xbox content and services rose two percent but they also said that it was roughly flat so right which is not great by the way no <laughs> you know um yeah because a couple of years ago they came out and said hey judge us not on how many consoles we sell judge us on the content and services revenue and we're like okay right. and, now, and now the only way we can judge you is on your silence yeah the sound of so, silence you know Got that going for you. Yeah, maybe they should build an arc do I don't know, Game Pass or something, and maybe that'll motivate them. So, anyways, well, since you are hope how's how's your arm doing? Is it hurting? You know, I'm, I'm I am resting it on an overly ornate pole. I guess it's a, a light pole. <laughs> Which, you know, by the way, it's it's one of those things about Paris. Every time you turn around the corner, there's some overly sure. ornate something, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, well, I haven't worked out this week, Brad, so this is nice. There you go. It's like, it's like doing a one-arm plank. A one-arm plank. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, Paul, we will let you get back to, um, your fromage and, and baguettes and, um, yeah. hopefully not embarrassing yes. America while you're over there. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you a story later, but it was, we saw an ugly American incident at the hotel that will be seared in my brain forever. But uh, no, we are uh, we're very polite here, and we speak a little French, and so we, we do okay. Fantastic. Well, maybe we'll be back tomorrow. Maybe Paul will be on a plane. We don't know. Stick around to no, find no. out. Home tomorrow. It's, I, I'm around tomorrow. We're <laughs> flying on Friday. 
I promise. I think. 